checking out his new creation, his 29 Ford. Stored for 38 years in his garage. I bought it for $3,000, and then I we took it all apart and started fabrication. The uh, engine and transmission is a 350 Chevrolet. It's been bored out 30 over to 355. It's got a mild cam, roller rockers, high output oil pump. Uh, Edelbrock uh, intake manifold, 650 Edelbrock carburetor, 18-inch uh, puller fan, aluminum radiator, stainless steel headlights, uh, American Racing black chrome wheels, 32 gas tank, 14 gallons, 32 bumper. And the whole exhaust system is ceramic coated to the back to the stainless steel glass packs. What kind of looks have you gotten so far? People, they, when I'm in traffic with it, which is not very much, they have got their cameras out, their their smartphones, and they're clicking pictures and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty pretty cool. What's your Instagram? If anybody wants to follow you on Instagram. What's that? I got drafted October 9th, 1966. Mm. We deadlined our tractors and tractor trailers and we went to uh, Amsterdam. We weren't supposed to do that. Whoops. Did you get in trouble? No. No? Oh, they didn't catch you? No. Would you do it again? Yes. And this is my car at the Ford Assembly Plant in St. Paul on Ford Parkway, which is no longer there. The paint job is uh, Radiant Red Toyota Corolla. So, Brad Galvin at Dirk Design and Graphics. Three coats of color and two coats of clear coat by De Beers, not the Diamond folks. Um, and it's wet sanded and buffed. What about the crow on the back? What does that symbolize? The crow is, they call me the crow in the club, in the Acme Car Club, because this guy was working on his hot rod in the driveway and he had a wrench and the sun was shining and the crow came down and grabbed it and took off with it. So I like everything shiny. So that's the premise of that. Anyway, this is the original picture I used for the crow on the back of Lenny's 29 and the actual sketch I used. You can see the center mark, so I knew. This is the size. It's about the size of a crow, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, I just transferred it onto the car and airbrushed it. That's what I used for my guide. He wouldn't let me put the cane or the top hat on him. Maybe another day. Any advice for somebody who is going to embark on a big car project like yours? Make sure you have deep pockets. And do it, you do it right, otherwise don't bother. Having a street rod and being in traffic really sucks. Yes it does. A lot. Man. <laughs> what? She didn't see you. What's your Twitter account if anybody wants to follow you on Twitter, Lenny? I have no Twitter. Google Plus? Nope. I'm playing hard to get. If you could do anything differently, what would you do? Mm, not, not. Nothing. This is what I've had in my mind since I was 15. I wanted a gangster era car. Yes, you can buy these from somebody else all done, but that's not my idea, that's your idea. If you don't think this car is cool, you don't have a pulse. 
put it that way. What's your Twitch channel so people can watch you when you're gaming? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about, senor? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs>